Okay, this one. Now we said, let's take the beamer. Roger that. One, two. Loud and clear. Okay, well, okay. Okay, B mask. Um, usually F5, huh? Roger. So now, my good. And it's good. Okay, yes, please. Copy that. Hello, this is Solar Impulse TV, and uh, the time is now 0.30 UTC, and we are in Sol Day 2, the second day for Solar Impulse on this mammoth five-day flight with Arno Borschberg, the pilot, heading to Nagoya in Japan, and currently somewhere over the Pacific. I'm with Andreas Furlinger from the Mission Engineering Team. Can we say now that he is in the middle of nowhere? Hello, yes, that's true. Um, we are in the middle of the Pacific and we are heading towards Hawaii. Okay, North Pacific. And uh, we're going to take you through what's been happening. Now, we just had a handover briefing as we do at uh, zero and at 12 Zulu, so every 12 hours throughout this flight. And uh, let's see if we can take a look at some of the charts that the team have been looking at uh, during this briefing. Let's start with the flight path. Take a look at the flight path on the screen now. And the flight path is uh, showing you the route, not as the crow flies, but all of the different movements that the plane has to make, heading north to a point and then heading south until we eventually make it to Hawaii. Okay, Andreas, I'd like you to help me with this. Now, uh, has this uh, changed at all since we last spoke? Well, um, the starting point which we see here is uh, actually the current position when we made the update. And uh, we had only small uh, changes in our flight route because the weather is more or less stable, the window is good and the conditions did not change a lot. We only had some small modifications in our routing due to the wind um, but actually no big changes so we're looking good and uh, the flight path to Hawaii is more or less the same as we have it briefed uh, the days before. We will only have a smaller change in our way how we are going to approach Hawaii. It will be more a direct approach or may, maybe a bit more south than compared to what we have now. Okay, now for those who haven't been following us right from the beginning, let's go back to that uh, flight path again and take a look at the different colors. We have blue, yellow and red. Can you explain what those colors mean? Well, uh, blue is always referring to a low altitude and uh, Dark red is always our high altitude, which means we are going from blue, which is our loitering altitude. Uh, for this flight, it's most of the time 8,000 feet. And then we are climbing up to flight level 280, which is uh, 28,000 feet, um, where we have our top of climb. And we stay there approximately one hour before we start our mission descent. 
Okay, and to get another picture, we can go to our five-day uh, forecast as well, taking us from Sol 2 to Sol 6. Just a reminder, we are in Sol 2. Now, let's take a look at the five-day graph. Now, this gives us another view of all this. Um, and uh, this is what, uh, is this the latest we have? I think there'll be another run coming out soon from the weather team, but I think we can go with this one for now. So... That's fine, yeah. This is fine for us. Okay. Now, when we heard from the weathermen, Vim and Luke, a little earlier, for Vim it was who was speaking, uh, the weather picture was looking good. The uh, No negative evolution in terms of the weather. So we're all uh, happy in terms of weather. Yes. So as said before, we have a stable condition. So the weather did not change a lot. Uh, of course, we have to do some small modifications, but the big picture is still the same. So we have the first crossing of the front on Sol Day 3 during the day, and then we have the second crossing um, on Sol Day 5 uh, short before Hawaii. Okay, now we look at, we're looking at the graph. Let's have a look, go back to that graph again, the five-day graph. Now you're talking about the crossing of the front at Sol 3, crossing of a weather front. Uh, how can we see this on this graph? Uh, in this graph, it's uh, not very well seen because the front on Sol Day 3 is actually less active or it's not very active this time. And uh, normally we can also see uh, medium level clouds, which we can see here only on Sol 5, this blue uh, The area. horizontal block there in the middle there, that exactly. is uh, the front crossing. Okay. Yes, but the first uh, crossing on Sol Day 3, we have there only few uh, clouds up to 13,000 feet and we will be much higher. We will be flying at uh, 200, flight level 200 or above. So we have enough margin to the clouds below us. Okay, and there's one more map we can look at to give us a bit more of a, uh, a bit more information about what we can expect because we're doing these briefings every 12 hours. So let's take a look at what will happen over the next 12 hours. Let's look at the Sol 2 graph now. And here it is. So we are at uh, zero. So we are starting on a climb there. We can see where we have the, uh, the coordinates there. And uh, from this point onwards, uh, André will be climbing. We now know that he's in energy positive situation. Uh, when we last spoke, we were around energy neutral morning. So he's in energy positive, And that means the sun is doing all the work at the moment. Exactly, yeah. We have enough sun energy. We recharge our batteries and we can use uh, the power to uh, power our engines so uh, we can start our climb. We will climb up to a flight level 280. And Which is 28,000 feet or 8,500 meters. Correct. And uh, we will spend, as said, approximately one hour um, at flight level 280. So uh, he's right now preparing for the oxygen system. He's doing some final checks and uh, maybe has to finish uh, the meal. And then he's going on oxygen and climbing to high altitudes. We also have an update on pilot health. Uh, and the pilot does seem to be in uh, good spirits. Yes, he is. Should we take a quick look at him now? Let's see if we can uh, head over to the picture from the cockpit right now. Let's see if we can get that. There we go. Well, that's actually the outside of the plane looking ahead. This is, this is uh, more or less what André Borschberg himself can see. Lots of clouds below, but what we're doing is currently we are above that cloud. That's where we want to be from now until we reach the maximum altitude of 28,000 feet or 8,500 meters. That's what we want to see. We want to see ocean below, clouds below, and lots of blue skies. Uh, blue sky and sun hitting those solar cells and at the moment we are facing in the right direction at some points we have to turn in in another direction and this is to make sure that we are getting the maximum solar power on those cells yes so especially during energy neutral morning where we have the critical phase of the flight we actually make a u-turn which means we turn the tail of the aircraft to the sun so we are having a heading approximately 250 because then the sun is in our back and we have the best uh, output and we can collect the most energy. Right, on all those 17,248 cells all along the wing and all along the fuselage exactly. on Solar Impulse 2. And, uh, yeah, and exactly this heading we have to adopt on every day to the current position of the sun. 
Okay, so all going uh, extremely well so far. Thank you very much, Andreas. And uh, we will have another update for you at uh, just before uh, 7 UTC, that's 7 GMT, and that will be the energy neutral evening point. A uh, short while ago, we had our energy neutral morning show. The next critical moment then is when Andre Borschberg has reached that maximum altitude, 28,000 feet, 8,500 meters. And uh, at that point, it's the end of the efficient sun period. And then we go into energy neutral, uh, um, energy negative situation where the batteries will have to yet again uh, push Andre Borschberg through the nights until we get on through to Sol 3, the third solar day. So we are now in Solar 2, well over 24 hours into the flight now. We're well into that second day of what is going to be a five-day flight. And uh, we will be getting into that crunch point soon when we get into Sol 3. Once we get to that halfway point of this flight, and uh, we will be speaking to Andre Borschberg. We hope once he gets that maximum altitude for energy, energy neutral evening, just had a chat with some of your colleagues, and uh, although he will be wearing an oxygen mask, there's a possibility we can have a chat with him then, if, fingers crossed, all is going well. Andreas, thank you very much. You're welcome. And we'll thank speak you. to you soon. Thanks for being with us on Solar thank Impulse you. TV. So once again, the next rendezvous here is just before 7 UTC for energy neutral evening. Speak to you soon. Sven, yours.